Well, 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 here we are, as promised, a little bit of a demo of the Freeview connected system without a smart TV. Now, look, this is my old studio. I've actually moved out of here now. This is just like the derelict, derelict remains of it all, just to prove that we're not doing it in some really highly sophisticated, oh, I've got a camera up there, of course, uh, highly sophisticated environment. Now then, these are the two that we're going to be demonstrating First of all, that little one there. I bought that this morning uh, in Argos for £38. Um, the Manhattan T1. The tiny box for big TV, it says on there. And the other one that we're going to be trying out is this one. This is the ultimate subscription free TV Manhattan T3R. Oh, that means you can record on it. We're going to find out if you can record music and memories on it. Um, in the fullness of time but first of all I'm going to go and do some prep and I shall be back in just a moment right so here we have the contents of the little T1 it's a dinky little box look tiny little thing like that turn around so there's no reflection on it Manhattan T1 nothing on the front except for the old remote receiver in the back you've got aerial in aerial out if you want to go straight back out to your telly um, and ethernet in where you will connect your internet and a HDMI out and also an audio out, which I will demonstrate to you in the fullness of time. In my opinion, the only drawback of this particular box is that your internet needs to be in the same room as your television because this has no Wi-Fi compatibility. You have to connect it um, directly to your internet, which I'm going to do in a minute, likewise with the aerial, and I will demonstrate thus. So, <clears throat> here we go. The dear little Manhattan T1 with the aerial, which I have actually got an aerial glued on the roof here. My internet, which is just there, must confess that is actually a mobile internet because the which is going up there to the Acer, and as you can see, it just says on there, Manhattan, welcome. To start, make sure your aerial is connected and press OK. Well, it means press OK on the bit that I forgot to show you at the beginning, which is this really nifty little remote control. So we'll go ahead and we'll press OK. Preparing to scan. So I would imagine what it's doing now is going through uh, to see how many channels it can find. It's thinking about it. Oh, oh. Press info for detailed information. Might be that my area has been blown about a bit in the... Oh, no, no, it's still looking for some more. Had a lot of strong winds up here, so the aerial might have been blown off of uh, thingy-what's-it a little bit. <clears throat> I think it says it's supposed to have 80 channels altogether. But, oh, my God. 97. So that actually might also be um, radio channels and that as well. Anyway, as you can see, it is actually... 111 so it's going through it it's looking at it's finding all the channels off of my aerial you can actually do this with an indoor aerial uh, depends how far you are away from your nearest transmitter a really good quality one <clears throat> excuse me is going to cost you probably about 40 quid um and obviously it'd be preferable to hire up you can get it in the house um but they do work quite well also so it looks like it's found 154 channels all together um the setup time so far has been i don't know um 10 minutes if that five minutes five minutes probably to plug it all in because i had all the cables ready um i think if you was to allow yourself half an hour to get this set up and working um you'd be laughing away you'd go uh, it takes a little while to go through this scanning bit in fact i'll probably speed all of this section up And there we are. So we're going to press OK on there to continue. Do you want to put a PIN number in? Well, if you've got uh, grandchildren or whatever that, that uh, visit and you don't want them watching certain things, I don't know that there is anything of an adult nature on here. Um, but if you do, just set your own PIN. I'm just going to put in um, zero, zero, hello. Zero, 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 zero. That's going to be my PIN number because I'm very sophisticated and I don't have anybody come and visit me because they don't like me. 
watch TV. Well, what do you reckon about that? BBC One. BBC Two. BBC Three. <laughs> no, ITV3. Okay, now the idea is that we want to find out if we can in fact get uh, music and memories on this system. Little 35 quid box, 38 quid, I think I paid for it this morning to be fair. I think £35 in curries. Ordinary PC monitor, not a smart TV. Ignore that noise outside. That's one of my cats trying to get in. A little remote control. Guide. Bump. You do have to point it right at it. And let's see what happens if we go all the way down here. If we can, in fact, find 271 with this cheap Heath Robinson scenario. There's a lot of channels. I wonder what happens if I type it in. 271. Look at that. Channel box. Select it. Might take a little while to, to find it. Oh. The service you have selected allows you to view content from the internet that may not be regulated like regular TV. In other words, you can get decent stuff on it. Music and memories. Would you look at that? It's highlighted right just there. Loading. Dum, da, dum, dum, da, da. <coughs> Look at that. A nice little bit of Janie Kirk. Now then, what I must tell you is that every time that you go back uh, to channel box on this, bearing in mind this is receiving this down a mobile, so it's probably not going to be the greatest... Uh, reception of all and it's going to catch up and stuff but once you've tuned into this every time you go to 271 this is where it will bring you it'll bring you straight back to music and memories if you want to choose another channel uh, off of channel box you have to come out of this and go back and choose your other channel once you've chosen this 271 will always be music and memories on a pc monitor no smart tv no high speed internet i think that's about two megabytes coming down uh, no sorry it's six megabits coming down uh, which is very slow by today's standards but there you are look at that 35 call it 40 quid and you're up and running how bad can that be